Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Prin. Um, today we are going to look at what can we look forward to for September 2021. Um, now for those who of you who regularly watch my channel, I have been absent for a while and I must apologize. Um, I was going through a lot of changes, transformations, um, life lessons and I just needed to take some time for myself but i am back so that's good we are ready we need new energy we want fun we want ease we want all positive things now i also have something else to say um i've got a new microphone and um i think it picks up on everything and i'm not quite used to it um for my previous videos i had a not so good mic and um Let's just say like I had to sort of really yell and it didn't pick up every single noise. So just a quick disclaimer. Um, if I forget that I have a really cool microphone on, <laughs> um, you know, when you're working with spirit, you you burp, you sneeze, you, your nose runs, um, all these different things. So previously, I don't think you could hear if I burped or sneezed or um, had to wipe my nose or something but um, now I think you'll be able to hear it so please excuse me if I forget that I have a mic on and I might burp or sneeze or uh, wipe my nose and you might hear it so um, apologies there please be gentle with me <laughs> um, I'm getting used to the new tech anyways let's get into it so September 2021 um, we are now, if you are South African, we are, you know, moving from winter into spring. It's still kind of cold, but I thought let's just go with flowers. So we have three groups today, pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. Um, please choose your piles intuitively, um, you know, take a, a breather, meditate, um, focus on which pile is calling to you which pile you feel drawn to um, the flowers the colors however you choose your pile and we will get into our readings thanks everybody see you at your pile hi guys just quickly i forgot to give another disclaimer um, i already started with group one so i'm busy changing groups and i remembered um when we're dealing with future energies um just remember if you don't like the message or you don't like the vibe or you don't know the way in which your month is going remember that you are in charge of your destiny um the tarot deck and um, oracle cards and myself here it's just guidelines okay you can either use it or don't use it and if you don't like it you can always change it you can always change your vibration you can um, change what you put out. Therefore, what you get back will also change. So if you like the reading, if you like what's being said, then keep doing what you're doing. Um, keep at your vibration. You can even increase it to, to make it come in quicker. Um, but if you don't like something, you can always change it, okay? Especially when we're dealing with future energies. Um, we always have choices and things can always change so um, you have the power don't take um, whatever cards come out don't take it as it's you know now written in stone is that the saying I can't remember but uh, y'all know what I'm saying <laughs> um, so just be aware of that when dealing with future energies okay um, see you at your piles thank you Welcome group number one. If you chose this um, pinky purpley flower, then this is your reading. Um, so I already shuffled and picked the cards um, off camera. Let me know if you guys prefer it this way or if you like to see me actually shuffle and pick cards on camera. Um, I just decided to try something different because we're in a new month, new energy. Let's try different things. Um, you never know unless you try, right? 
So let's start with your tarot. You've got the moon. You've got the wheel of fortune. You've got the seven of cups. You've got the five of wands. And you've got the ace of pentacles. Guys, this is my first tarot deck. I made it. It's not really a deck. I know it's a bit ghetto fied. It's like held together with cello tape and stuff. But um, it's come a long way with me. So uh, I like the energy of it and stuff. So please excuse my ghetto fabulousness. Um, but that's your tarot cards. Then these cards I made myself. So we've got the tree or branch. And we've got holly. And then with the fairy deck, we've got the bouquet, flowers. I mean, it is springtime, right? Well, I think spring in South Africa is somewhere in the middle of September, but um, we'll go with it. I mean, flowers is good, right? And then we have the coffin. Love this card. It's like one of my favorites in this deck. I'll explain why later. Don't be scared about that. Um, and then we have in the, uh, I think it's a Dorian Virtue, uh, Virtue um, Angel deck. I'll put everything in the description um, below if you'd like to look at the decks. But we have animals. It's Saint Francis of Assisi. I think you say it like that. I don't know. <laughs> Please forgive me if it's not. Okay, so group number one, what does September 2021 hold for you? Um, we'll start with your tarot. I feel like a lot of things have been revealed to you or a lot of things have come up um, in the month of August. And it's sort of changed your mindset or changed your energy. Um, maybe you found out about you can just apply it to your situation but maybe you found out that the person you're crushing on is um a hoe and you're just like nope i deserve better and then now you change direction bad example but it's the only thing that's coming to my mind <laughs> but um something got revealed to you that sort of made you change your mind or made you change your vibration or frequency but in the positive because of this wheel of fortune um, it's definitely in the positive. Um, so it's sort of made you shift directions. Maybe you had a falling out with somebody or um, you got a new job or just a lot of change, especially with this death card. This is why I love this. Um, it's the coffin, but it also reminds me of death in the tarot deck, um, which means change. And I love change because it means that you're evolving, you're growing, you're moving from, you know, a caterpillar into a butterfly, a uh, transformation. So lots of change coming up. If it hasn't already, in September, you will start to see, you know, the wheels moving for you. With the Seven of Cups, I feel like because of this change up or this transformation, it's it could lead to some confusion because I'm feeling confused here because there's now lots of options. As in um, example, let's say you've recently got retrenched because of COVID and um, now you have an absolutely clean slate. You don't know, you know, whether to stay where you are or go somewhere else or go back home, whatever, whatever the situation is. It's like now you have lots of options. Um, so I do feel a little bit of confusion with this five of wands. It could be internal conflict um, where you're trying to weigh the pros and cons. I don't see that as a bad thing. I love having options, to be honest. Um, but it does lead to some sort of confusion. Um, what they're showing me is maybe write down a list of pros and cons for um, each situation, like example, I want to work in Durban, pros and cons. I want to work overseas, pros and cons. I want to work in 
you know, Japan or Mexico. I just want to go back home and live with my parents again, pros and cons. Um, they're saying if you write it down, um, sorry guys, my nose is leaky. <laughs> um, if you can hear the tissue. Uh, right. So write it down because if things, if you don't get it on a piece of paper, it's going to swim in your head and it's going to be like, a buzzing bees is what I'm hearing, just constantly thinking. Um, and it can it can tend to lead to headaches. I'm also getting blocked sinuses also. Um, oh, yeah, because it's spraying pollen. Doi. Um, it's just leading to a lot of fog in the head. Um, and, and... Yeah, they're saying see the options as a good thing because now you are in control and you can choose for yourself. You can choose intuitively um, which direction you want to go in. Um, so they're saying take it as a positive if that applies to you. Um, but it's very exciting. I don't see um, this five of ones is more like an internal conflict. But it's really nothing to worry about. Uh, because of the cards that you've got, I feel like no matter what choice you make, if you make it with um, a positive vibration, if you're excited, if you're inspired, um, then it will be the right choice. I don't think you can go wrong here. It doesn't feel like there's any like major warning signs because um, at the end of all your um, tarot, you get the... Ace of Pentacles. And it says, manifestation, new financial opportunity, prosperity. So I feel like no matter what you choose, although it's going to feel confusing and um, just unclear, whatever you choose, it's, it's going to be the best for you. Um, I recently posted on my Facebook page, you know, things are always working out for me. That's an affirmation that I use myself. And that is right. The universe always, you know, shifts and changes in my favor. And if you adopt that mindset, no matter what happens, like if I, you know, trip over something or if I break a nail, <laughs> silly examples, but if, if, if a window breaks something, that you usually would consider bad, I'd be like, no, things are always working out for me. This is supposed to happen. It's for my highest good, so I'm okay with it. It sort of takes off the pressure that you put on yourselves, um, and that way you can easily live in ease and flow and positivity. Things are always going to happen because we are on this earthly plane. You know, in the 3D, things will happen. That's what we're here for. We're here to experience and learn and grow. Um, but in saying things are always working out for me, you see it in a positive way that you do see it as life lessons. Um, and you do take change as something good and positive and, um, you know, a new challenge, new energy, you know, so I'm loving the newness of your group pile number one. Um, especially with this branch, I see it as growth. Um, this branch and the flowers, I, I really do see it as you growing, um, expanding. I'm hearing expansion, um, new heights as well. I'm, I'm hearing maybe you, you going from just like a team leader to a manager, a new position. Um, even if this is relationship um, based, it's going from, you know, just friends to uh, going steady. <laughs> I don't know why I say that. It's like usually old people say going steady, but you know, um, being committed. I just see a lot of growth. And um, with this holly, I'm getting family vibes. You know, Christmas, it's, it's fun. It's exciting. It's family orientated as well. I'm just feeling very family e, <laughs> like a lot of love, a lot of happiness, a lot of chaos, but in a good way, you know, when 
it's Christmas and kids are running around, but you smell food and there's music and there's, it's a good chaos. It's a, it's a, it's a nice chaos, if I can say. Um, yeah, you could be going through a nice chaos if this is a change up that you're experiencing. Um, enjoy it is what I'm hearing. Enjoy the journey, enjoy the process because the end result is going to be taken care of. So you don't even have to worry. Just They're saying just enjoy it. Um, and with this animals, yeah, I'm hearing peace when I see the doves. And he's just chilling with them. Yeah, it's, it's, I'm hearing you need to chill. Don't worry about it. Let it unfold. Allow it to happen. And breathe through it. Maybe if you have animals and you're feeling stressed, go hug your cat or dog or, um, you know, take a walk outside if, if you're getting too much in your head. But they're saying enjoy it. Group number one, um, this is such a good reading. Your September is going to be amazing. Um, this change up might have started in August or it will start changing in September. Um, but yeah, I see good things coming, guys. I really do. I'm so, uh, I'm happy for you. I love change, really. It's, it's, it's really going to be like this bouquet. Um, it's going to make you feel good. You're going to feel happy. Lots of change. Proper spring vibes. Even if you're not in South Africa and you're not going through, um, spring or whatever change over in your life uh, you are transforming you are growing um, and things are just gonna expand quite nicely for you so that's your reading group number one i hope you enjoyed it please give me a like share and subscribe and i will see you at your next reading bye guys hi group number two if you chose this purple white flower then this is your reading. Um, I have already, um, you know, picked your cards off camera and just arranged them for you to see. If you prefer me to shuffle on camera, please let me know in the comments below. Um, then I can do readings with both because um, some people might like to skip the shuffling. But I thought, let me just try something new because I just wanted a lot of new energy, newness in my life. I was tired of the old and I'm just ready for the new. Um, and I feel like the collective is ready for the new. So let me know in the description box. Um, not description box. What am I saying? In the comment section below. And um, then I can have both methods on my channel. Anyways, if this is your first time on my channel, welcome. And today we are looking at what can we expect in September 2021. So I'm going to start with your tarot. We've got the Five of Pentacles. The Sun. The Knight of Wands. The Page of Cups. And the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. In my own deck that I've made, I've got these big googly eyes. <laughs> and I have um, this twirly-whirly squiggly thing. Um, we'll interpret it later on. In the fairy deck, we've got the dog. See there? And we've got the rider. And with the angel deck, we have guardian angel move. Alrighty. Group number two. I'm, I'm so excited about this new energy, really. Uh, pile number one is also lots of change, lots of transformation. And here we have, um, you know, movement, energy moving. We're not stuck in the same old, same old. And I'm loving it. 
Okay, so what I can see is um, in the past, you might have felt like you've left, been left out in the cold. Um, you could have been broke. Um, you might have lost your job due to COVID. Um, I'm also seeing like family issues, like you could have felt isolated from your family. Maybe they don't understand you or get you. Just not a good energy um, in the past. So with the sun, I feel like although you were going through, you were going through some shit, um, I feel like you try to hang on to um, the light I'm hearing. Um, you try to stay positive. You've worked through it. You, um, you push through. You kept the faith. Um, I feel like you really worked on yourself with the sun card. You really have group number two. Um, and with this night and this page, I think with the dog, I'm getting multiple um, messages here. Either you had a friend or you had somebody who is loyal, who um, listened to you, um, who was there for you, who you could go to when you were feeling... Um, down and out um you had somebody that was there for you that you could talk to and it might have made you feel with this page it might have made you feel um small or made you feel um uncomfortable is what i'm feeling made you feel uncomfortable reaching out to someone because maybe you've never done that before um but you decided to reach out to somebody who could, I'm hearing ignite your passion or like speak to you. Yeah, a lot of communication. Speak to you that sort of um, shook things up or made you understand what you're going through or um, confirmed or reaffirmed your thoughts and your feelings and that yes you should feel that way but you're not alone you have the power very like an empowering person that you could talk to um, that helped you get through it if that is not your situation um, in September you will come across somebody almost like a mentor or a friend that you can completely be yourself with you can be raw with, you can trust them. Um, they have really good shoulders to cry on type of person um, in September if, if this hasn't already happened. Um, either way, it's, pretty, it's, it's really nice that, to have somebody that you can just be yourself with and you can just rant and rave and offload all the crap because, um, you know, the world gets a bit much at times. So... That's good. I'm glad at um, group number two that you have someone because we all need somebody to just talk to. Um, it's not nice keeping things. Um, you know, I was one of those people who said I can't trust anybody and I can only rely on myself. And it's hard work being that way because you have the whole world on your shoulders and it's difficult to do anything. Um, and you feel like you're in constant survival mode. But um, to have somebody just to say that to, <laughs> the person doesn't even have to give you advice. Just to talk to somebody is so therapeutic. So I'm so happy you guys have somebody to go to and talk to. Like, that's the best thing ever. Um, and no matter what your situation is, no matter what this Five of Pentacles is, whether it's a relationship, family issues, um, money issues, whatever it is, it will work itself out because you you kept your faith 
and you remained positive even it might not have felt it if you were worried or you just broke down and you were crying whatever but you kept the faith and how i know this is because we have the nine of pentacles at the end of your tarot um cards it says gratitude luxury self-sufficiency combination yeah so no matter if it's like a money thing or a family thing or a relationship thing um you're gonna come out smiling man september is gonna feel so good to you um definitely with this rider this shows me new situations new opportunities new friends especially if you don't know who this person is they're coming in okay if you're looking for a relationship or somebody to talk to a friend um that's on the same wavelength as you or somebody who can um they're either the same vibration as you or they're much higher like a mint like i said like a mentor or um a spiritual healer um a teacher also if you're trying something new with this page um a new job new studies whatever it is it's going to be just fine more than fine because this is the nine of pentacles it's it's really a, a happy card so lots of excitement especially with this move as well reaffirming um newness moving into a new relationship or moving into a relationship um moving away from people that no longer um support you people who no longer serve your highest good or highest purpose um you could be literally moving house uh, moving jobs or it could be you are moving around i think if this is a friend that's coming in you'll be going to new places experiencing new foods new friends um lots of activity so that's quite nice with this eyes i feel like especially when i said faith with your faith and the sun card it feels like the higher powers they were looking out for you and they still are it's like they were watching you um keeping an eye out making sure that you're safe that you're secure um really looking after you with this eyes i definitely feel like there's divine powers surrounding you that are protecting you that are guiding you um that are getting rid of people who aren't for your eyes good that isn't good for your energy um beat family friends exes whatever um people might have gotten removed from your social circle because they did not deserve to be there um to be honest with us twirly wallies it feels like movement to me it feels like you know energy flowing like a vortex um you might be a abraham hicks fan she always talks about you know your vortex and being in alignment with your vortex if you're not familiar with abraham hicks she basically says whatever you want you put up you know you you send it out to the universe and it collects in this vortex and once you are in alignment with it once you have raised your vibration everything in your vortex um then materializes in sort of the real world example so like your prayers get answered um so like if you put you want a new car in your vortex it goes into your vortex you want a relationship you want a business you want the bigger salary you want the promotion whatever it is goes into your vortex and once you raise your vibration you open yourself up to it you receive everything in that vortex then things start to you might get win a car you might um you'll get that promotion you meet someone um stuff like that so this reminds me of that vortex and i feel like your vort- vortex is going to be opening to you if it doesn't open in september it things will start moving um like with this move card i love when this card comes up or the rider 
um, I'm really not a fan <laughs> and that's like my biggest life lesson when you get like pause or break or block or um, retreat it's you know you need to stop you need to work on yourself you need to grow I mean it's good cards but you know I was really looking forward to new energy and I love that I'm feeling the collective energy and I'm feeling the universe and we are moving forward. So I am loving this energy. Group number two, this is going to be fun. September, you might not feel it at first if you are still in this five of pentacles um, energy. Um, but things are definitely moving forward. Things are going to be changing. Um, you'll be in alignment with people who deserve to be around you. You know, if money is an issue, you will get money coming in. Um, you'll be feeling blessed, let's just say. Um, because even if things don't change in September uh, money-wise, it will change. But you will be feeling blessed because you'll know that, you know, heaven is watching you. You are safe, you are secure, and things are changing. Um but I'm loving it. New energy. It's the best. I hope you guys can feel it too. I'm just so excited. <laughs> I love change. I love it. Um, especially with the five. Like, I know not many people like the number five, but I just love it because it means we are moving forward, guys. I love moving forward. Um, although it might feel scary, it might feel like you unstable you're not sure you don't know where to go what to do just keep that faith guys um you know have fun with it whatever you can if you, if you need to watch programs that make you laugh um you know comedies if you need to paint do whatever to make life feel fun and playful because that way you open yourself you keep yourself open to receiving your blessings okay but um all good stuff in September, group number two. I'm loving it. Oh, I'm so happy for you guys. Really enjoy it, man. Um, thank you for joining me. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I hope to see you in my next reading. Thanks, guys. Hi, group number three. If you chose this um, greeny, yellow, what is this, a lime? I know it's kind of drying out, but if you chose this flower then this is your reading um i already drew cards off camera um i know i usually pull some cards on camera if you would like me to continue to to pull cards on camera please let me know in the comment section or if you like it this way too let me know then i can do some videos where the cards are already pulled and then some videos where I can shuffle on camera but just let me know how you feel about that Alrighty, so today we are asking what can we expect in September 2021 and your tarot cards are the five of swords the hierophant We've got the Knight of Swords. We've got Justice. And we've got the Queen of Cups. I hope you can all see that. Okay, and then in my deck that I've made myself, we've got the Lips. And we've got a cup of tea or a cup of coffee already it feels more like coffee to me here <laughs> might have some caffeine addicts here coffee addicts um then in the fairy deck we've got the clouds and we've got the heart And then in my angel deck, we've got Saint Teresa of, I'm not even going to try, 
uh, in brackets it says little flower <laughs> sorry guys I don't even know how to pronounce that but it says um, steady progress I love the flowers yay because okay we are in South Africa we are moving into spring so um, I'm happy to see that flowers came up I think also in group number one I'm not too sure maybe if you're watching this you need to watch group number one too but that's I mean group yes oh my goodness I said group number one two and then I got confused <laughs> um but for a select few of you if you feel called to it um maybe you're confused between one and two maybe you need to watch group number one as well okay so what does September hold for you guys <sighs> Okay, my group number three is um, with this five of swords, I feel like you could have been either in a lot of arguments with somebody maybe older than you, maybe a boss, maybe family members. Um, just people in a higher status than you. Um, so in family wise it could be like your older brother your older sister older cousin just somebody that even if they your same age as you it's somebody you look up to but you've been but the, with this hierophant i feel like they've been restricting you or i feel like like i'm seeing chains like you're being shackled um like they've been saying things to you that really wasn't for your highest good. Um, yeah. Some arguments or butting heads, you're just not seeing eye to eye. And I feel in September, with this Knight of Swords, it's a lot of communication and I feel like it feels like you you're going to have to stand up for yourself like you have to tell them like look this is not on like I respect you as a person I respect your wisdom your knowledge but I need you to understand that you also got to respect my wisdom, my thoughts, my beliefs. Um, and I feel like this person is so stubborn that they, honestly speaking, okay, this person can change if they are open to changing, but it feels like they are so old school, old school minded or really stubborn that no matter what you say, they're not going to change how they view a situation. Um, it's like they're going to think they know best and you don't know anything. Um, that's just the vibe that I get. So when you speak to this person, and I feel like you need to speak to this person, especially with the lips and the coffee, um, maybe go to a public place. Um, if this person is pretty hectic and you're worried about your safety, um, go in a public place to talk to the person. But I feel like y'all need to sit down, you know, make a cup of tea. Um, because when you have tea or you have something, it sort of relaxes the mood and it's not so intense. But I feel like you really need to stand up for yourself. You need to speak up um, and say, like, I appreciate you, I love you, especially if it's a family member and you don't want to piss anybody off. Um, I feel like you can get your point across without there being a major conflict or a fight. Um, like, you need to say, I appreciate the advice, I appreciate what you do, I know where you're coming from, I know the intention is good. As in you're trying to keep me safe or you're trying to, you know, educate me. But this is something I need to do on my own. Or I've worked on myself. I've worked on my intuition. I know what I'm doing. Please allow me the space 
to follow through with my own thoughts and my own um, ideals and stuff like that. If things have to go down, then, you know, I can always try things your way, but I feel like I need need you to give me some sort of space. Um, something along that line. Uh, I'm not really sure. You can always apply it to your situation. Um, but I feel like you need to say something. Um, it doesn't feel like you shouldn't, like it, it, it doesn't come out reversed to me here. It's, you definitely need to say something, but with this justice card, right? Because it says here, justice, fairness, truth, cause and effect, law. With this justice card, I need you, before you go into having this conversation, I need you to write down what you're going to say. And I feel like because you know this person well, you know what their replies are. So you can therefore write a reply for their reply type of thing. Um, write the dialogue down. Why? Because if you write down before you go into this conversation, you sort of level headed. You're not upset. You're not angry. With this night of, of sorts, I just need to issue a bit of a warning. If you don't prepare yourself or you don't, if you don't enter the conversation with love, with light, with understanding, you know, talking to the person so to make them understand or with authority, um, not out of anger. I hope I'm getting my point across here. But um, if you go in haste, with haste, with spitefulness, with anger, with... I'm hearing disdain. If, if you go with those energies, it's not going to end well. So I need you to check your energy first. And make sure you're coming in with this justice type of energy. Where you are fair, where you are balanced. Um, you're coming with love. You're coming with light. You're um, going to speak in loving tones. Um, not harsh you know, softly, gently, so that the person doesn't feel attacked. I feel this person, whoever this uh, hierophant person is, they get offended easily. I feel immature, although they might be older or might come across as somebody who's bigger, smarter, uh, richer, wiser. <laughs> the energy feels immature, like they... Um, they react. They don't respond. You know, there's a difference. You know, you say something, they react. Oh. You know, they take things personally. They don't sit and think about what is it is this pers person actually saying. Um, so when you're talking to somebody like that, it's best not to go in guns blazing. Um, that's why this coffee and the lips. So when you're going to go talk to the person be chilled you know and know that you are standing up for yourself that whatever you're feeling is right for you and you're meant to feel this way like they saying something that doesn't quite feel good to you and you know there is a reason why it doesn't feel good to you because it's not meant for you whatever this advice that they're telling you or whatever they're doing excuse me um Whatever the situation is, just check your energy, calm yourself down, write down notes, go, no, you know, step by step, um, just to sort of keep the peace, because I feel like this person does mean a lot to you, um, but you have been butting heads. Um, everything will work out fine. If you do, um, if you go in with love and light, because we have Queen of Cups at the end of your reading, and it says emotional security, calm, intuitive, compassionate. Yes, this is who you want to be when you're talking to this person. This is who you want to be all the time, actually. Um, and I feel like you don't really feel like this Queen of Cups as yet. Um, if you're still going through this, but 
once you stand up for yourself and you speak with kindness and compassion, you will feel like this Queen of Cups. And you will be treated like a Queen of Cups, not a, you know, soldier that can, you know, the soldiers that they send out first in the war that just get killed and nobody really cares. <laughs> this is, that's the vibe I get from this Five of Swords. But you're not the Five of Swords, you're this Queen of Cups. And if you don't feel like it, you will get there eventually. Um, so this might happen in September. It might have already happened where you feel like this Queen of Cups already. Um, just take it how it resonates. Sorry, guys. I just need to wipe my nose. If you can feel the, um, hear the tissue. Okay. Now, with this confusion and the heart, I feel like You might have been confused about the situation or you still are confused whether you should speak up or not. Um, and I honestly feel like you should say something. That's just my opinion, guys. You can obviously um, read your own situation, um, whether you think you should speak up or not. But if I were you... <laughs> um, I would call this person up and say, look, can we talk? Um, and really need to get this off my chest. It's not for you. It's for me. And understand that by getting things off your chest, it is for you. And it's not for the other person. That's what I mean by check your energy. If you're going in to yell and scream and make sure this person sees you as this queen, like how you see you, but they don't. So you're going to yell at them and you're going to tell them and it's not to tell the person off. This is not the energy we're going to go in. We are going to talk to this person so that you can get it off your chest so that you can heal. This is all about you. It is like nothing to do about this person. Because understand law of attraction. Things happen in your life. Uh, sometimes the universe sends you people or places or situations that reflect what your energy is. And let's say you're trying to manifest a relationship, especially with this card here. Um, if you're trying to manifest the position, like a higher position or the job or whatever, it might require you to stand up for yourself or speak your truth. Um, so it's, you know, a lesson that you need to learn in order to get the stuff that you're trying to manifest. Um, I feel like this is a major life lesson and it's with somebody who's close to you because if you can stand up, to somebody close to you, if you can speak with compassion, even though you are angry, if you feel like um, justice wasn't served or, you know, there has to be, um, you know, you want justice because they treated you badly, whatever the situation is. If you can talk to somebody who means so much to you, um, you can get your point across and not have it go in a fight or whatever, then you can do anything with anyone. Um, and I feel like it have, had to happen with somebody who you consider, um, who you have a lot of respect for, because like I said, if, if you can stand up for yourself to this person, you, you can do anything. And it may be that your new position, your new, new job or your new landlord or, um, new relationship requires you to not really stand up for yourself, but speak your truth. It requires you to um, work on your throat chakra, especially I see a lot of blues here. Um, you can even call in Archangel Michael to help you um, gain that confidence in yourself to believe in what you say. Maybe you're not sure about yourself, especially with confusion. You're not sure whether you're saying the right thing or not, whether you're doing the right thing or not. Um, you know, if it makes you, check your feelings. They're saying check your feelings. If, if you talk to somebody and they make you feel bad and you feel crappy after the phone call, that is like a red flag waving in your face saying that, you know, this person either needs to be cut out or if you can't cut them out, like if they're family or your boss or whatever, then, you know, you need to say something. It's about your feelings. So check Whoever, if you don't know who this person is or the situation, check how you're feeling. 
if you leave a place and you feel drained, if you feel tired, if you feel body aches and pains, that place is not for you. But if you're in a situation where you can't leave your job or you can't leave that place, then you obviously have to stand up for yourself. Um, and when you do stand up for yourself, it may feel crappy because, you know, sometimes we are brought up thinking we can't stand up to people who are older than us or a boss or whatever. But if you stand up for yourself in the correct manner, you're going to feel fulfilled. You're going to feel like you're balanced. Your heart is full. You're going to feel like this queen of cups. Um, and especially with the steady progress, I feel like you might have maybe cut this person off just to take time for yourself to figure out what it is that you really want, um, which is good. It is progress. Um, and if you do speak to this person again, it's going to be progress. I'm just trying to see if there's any guidance from my uh, spirit team. If you don't say anything, what will happen? Okay, no. You see, it's up to you guys. This is uh, purely free will. Um, if you don't say say anything to this person physically if you don't say something you can still get this um you'll still get progress but it'll be slow if you maybe write a letter to the person you don't really send the letter but you just burn it if you do things like that i mean progress will be there but very slowly I honestly feel like you need to have this conversation and it will just be a life lesson learned. And it'll be a life lesson that you will have to use moving forward. Um, you know, if you're trying to attract a life partner or something, um, you got to be able to speak your truth, to tell them what you like and what you don't like to have those uncomfortable conversations, which aren't really uncomfortable, to be honest, but we just feel like that if we haven't really worked on our throat chakra, if we haven't really said what's on our minds, if we weren't given that space to completely be ourselves. Um, but I feel like September is purely up to you whether you want to learn this life lesson or not but i'm going to be honest with you guys i don't sugarcoat stuff if you don't stand up for yourself now you will be you will attract more situations that will require you to say something so for me it's like might as well get it over and done with um grow expand it's progress you know, you're not going to go backwards. It's forward moving, which is what I wanted to do. You know, this reading, it's a collective energy. We're all moving forward. Um, but I feel like because you have been manifesting, I feel like you have been actively trying to manifest a job or um, a relationship or whatever your situation is. I feel like you have been actively trying to manifest but I feel like this is like this mountain when I see mountains I see sort of like a blockage um it feels like if you can just get over this mountain of speaking up um speaking your truth being kind in your words um communicating well I feel like once you learn how to use your thro throat chakra once you learn how to express yourself um this is what you'll get you know you'll get your heart you you you'll be you know the queen of cups queen of hearts you'll be full of love for yourself 
I feel. This is a self-love thing, guys. Um, because by you not saying anything, you sort of allow people to treat you in a way that you don't want to be treated and say things to you that you don't want to hear, um, well, that they shouldn't say to you. It's, it's more of a self-love thing. Um, and I think once you, you talk to this person, you'll feel like you've achieved something and you'll feel so much love for yourself because you've done it. Um, no matter what the outcome is, I'm hearing no matter what the outcome is, just know that you did it for you, you did it with positive, you did it with love and light. So whenever you do something with positive energy, you're only going to get positive things out of it. Whether this person is upset or not, it's nothing to do with you. Their reaction to what you have to say has nothing to do with you. It's their journey. Sometimes maybe they need to uh, learn a life lesson too. Understand that it's not only you that will progress, it will be them as well. And you are now the person who will be teaching them their life lesson too. Um, that they need to listen, they need to maybe broaden their mind, they need to calm down, they also need to chill, whatever the life lesson is, you can also um, be a part of their story. By you not speaking up, you're also um, blocking their growth um, as well. So that's um, another perspective that they showed me, which is quite cool. Um, to know that you can help somebody on their journey too. It might not feel like it because we don't we don't like confrontation. <laughs> um, but sometimes it is necessary, it is needed. But um, it's progress, guys. It's movement. It's getting you closer to what it is you're trying to manifest. I like it. I really do. Um, pile number three, I know it's heavy to speak your truth sometimes but because of the cards that you've gotten here it's gonna go well hey i i don't see like major turmoil like if the tower card was here i'd be like shit's gonna go down man <laughs> but um no you you got you're coming out as the queen of cups um and you got the heart card you got steady progress There's so many flowers the flowers are just like staring at me and um it's really good i feel like you need to have this conversation and you'll be fine i feel like you call upon archangel michael you call upon whoever you consider your higher power and you will be just fine group number three you're doing good um you know these things are happening because you are growing you are moving you're expanding um so it really is a good thing Honestly, um, leveling up is what I'm hearing. So this is your reading group number three. I hope it helped. September is going to be great for you. Once you have the conversation, um, you're going to be f flying high, man. Like this steady progress, that's going to be you. You're going to be happy, covered in flowers. <laughs> um, it's going to be good. So thank you for joining me in group number three. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I hope to see you at my next reading. Bye, guys.